when i think of nax my bestie comes to my mind before my boyfriend we knocked to different movie series it they do choreography with Nax. You know she's married. At least control yourselves more. His bola is bigger than my man's. There was one student in Poli I used to knock steady. Would come to me with all her problems. I'll suck the problems away from her. <laughs> hey. Hello, Yemi. Concerning this post, keep me anon. I had a bestie while in uni lag. My boyfriend was in another state. He was schooling in Ajay Crowder University. We dated for a year before I met my male bestie. Each time I had relationship issues, I was always gisting my male bestie about it because he was a good talker and always cheers me up. That was where it started from and gradually I started liking him. Also, the fact that we watched movie series like Gladiators, Banshee, ETC didn't help matters because they didn't knock for all those films for those people we don't know. I assume everybody knows. I'm very strict when it comes to Nax. But after a while, when I think of Nax, my bestie comes to my mind before my boyfriend. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, and then the day it happened, Nax happened. It was on Sunday. We knocked all day after a little play fight with pillows in his room. Na boys what <laughs> boys i now realized he was hoping for it too because he told me how he always wanted to knock me and to do things to my body the knocks was mind-blowing and his bowler was big we knocked to different movie series it, they did do choreography with knocks person <laughs> oh god All, see eh, see i'm not saying a girl cannot have a guy that is a friend because like girls are probably going to know guys before they meet you before you guys start dating but i'm saying if you notice your girl is super close to the dude no allow her tell her obviously you're, like, you're not going to be aggressive about it but tell her say no you get if you want to talk to somebody talk to me you understand if you want to you want to do choreography knocking choreography come on now at some point when a knocking scene comes up in the movie we must knock to it person serious babe Oh God, it was that bad, and it continued for two years while I was also dating my boyfriend. Even after I broke up with my boyfriend, we still continued. I totally understand when men say they can't allow their babe to have a male bestie. I don't even argue. Of course you don't. When you do choreography, you do knocking choreography with person will not be your boyfriend. That and that's the kind of knocks, bah, that her actual boyfriend will never get from her. Isn't it crazy? Like that's the that's the irony. That's why I keep talking about. Dating somebody that is genuinely attracted to you, not somebody that you saw in the, in the mall and she been they fine. So you, you you can't ask them for a number. She can't give you. Like, then she can't see say your house they big. She can't tell you say she could date you. All that is just trash. It's trash. The kind that of, say this guy they give that guy for her school or wherever they are. Her boyfriend know this year. LOL. Hi. Yeah. Why? What in those three words mean? I met a guy on Twitter in 2018. He sounded and looked really cool, and he asked that we go out on a date, which I agreed to. Since it's just friendship, <laughs> now friendship became stronger, stronger. After that, one thing led to another, and we booked a hotel, and we had mad knocks all night while drunk. It became a routine till I realized he and my boyfriend are mutuals on this app. They even joke about timeline topics. One day, my boyfriend was trolling on football Twitter and my male bestie was replying him. Meanwhile, I was also on his bed. He was trolling with my boyfriend on, on the timeline and giving me mad knocks at intervals. I have really lived wild. Yes, you have. You belong to the streets. You, 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 you belong to the highway. Like, hi, God. Oh, he last week on Twitter. Eh? Last week on Twitter was traumatizing. I'm telling you, I I know be I know I, I know they like to use some kind of words, but I believe that it was not just for me, but like for a lot of guys. It's like they see. Eh, let me let me advise anybody going to a relationship now, guy or girl. Eh, if you're in a relationship and your partner is a little bit paranoid, like did he always ask where are you, where are you, this this this, what what are you doing? It seems like they're too they're checking up on you too much. They're paranoid, but don't get angry at them. Oh. No, genuinely, don't get mad at them because. This generation don't spoil, eh? 
you have to be paranoid there's no good person there's no oh i'm sure i am with the perfect you can never really know you can never know she talks it she talks it he was giving me mad knocks at intervals that is he go text the baby boyfriend but text and they go laugh <laughs> messy no sabi he go enter bed knock the same guy babe oh, no, my. <laughs> LOL, hi, XX. What does this mean? Which language these people they speak? I don't know if this is the same situation. I had a best a few months ago. I had a best a few months before I got married. Our office was closed and I was in a very serious relationship then. I don't know what una def- una mean by serious relationship because serious relationship has lost its meaning. Do you know what serious relationship is? When, when a girl says it to me, when a girl says serious relationship, all I hear is a man that in the future, I won't make him marry me. Like, that's all I hear. I like, serious relationship doesn't mean I'm committed to him. It doesn't mean I am attracted to him. It means I could do anything what I won't do when marriage time reaching will marry me. We chatted a lot on WhatsApp and, je- and gradually it grew into sex chats. <laughs> I didn't know what I was thinking. <laughs> he sent his nudes and his bowler was so big and so fine. Fine bull, anything like fine bowler day. I don't know, man. I mean, I get big, but fine. What was fine? What, was... what do you mean? Temptation set in, and I decided to knock <laughs> this dude just once. And since then, I have been in a dilemma. You have been digmatized. That's what you've been in. Because after my wedding, I still go back to knock this dude. dude that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. How person could read this kind of thing? He no go day a little bit paranoid. You guys too should do better. You know, you know be everything where you go knock. You know she's married. At least control yourselves more. His bola is bigger than my man's. And I am only sharing this because I see us divorcing soon. Bro, that's crazy. My mind is elsewhere. My bestie is always is also convincing me to leave if I am not happy. This is another thing, right? And I know guys can guys are also affected by peer pressure, but Girls are on another level. Why are you telling the entire world, oh, this is happening in my marriage, or that's happening in my marriage? You're going to be getting so much imputes that you wouldn't know which one is good and bad, and you apply all and absolutely destroy your marriage. It doesn't make any sense to me. Evening, Chief. About this bestie issue, I am a doctor, so during my house job times, there was one student in poly I used to knock steady. Would come to me with all her problems. I will suck the problems away from her. <laughs> Hey. Hmm. I ended things, but a few months later, we started talking again. We knocked again, and it became consistent. That's how one guy called. I, my friend, and her were in my room. I teased her, saying, your boyfriend is calling you. She said, he's dating me. I'm not really dating him. Una they here? Are you hearing? All these guys, wait, you go see babe for more. Collect her number, spend half of your salary for her head. Ask her how she go give you one kind shabby, yes, one kind, eh, yes. You go give you one kind mumu, yes. And in your head, both of you are dating. You, you see the relationship you're in. She literally said, He's dating me. I am not really dating him. Boys don't see something. She picked the call and put it on speaker. And the guy was complaining about how she has been behaving distance and withholding sex no mom no not this is not something we are surprised about is it you go you date person will be say nothing will she like about you apart from money where you get like you know this you know this but like you still insist on dating the same person what do you expect to get almost she told him love is long suffering you have to suffer for me bro i weak up until now i still weak love is only long suffering if you're not the guy she wants but if you're the guy she wants, then love is long suffering, if you know what I mean. I feel like if you're a guy who went through university, you dated some girls or you got in relationships with some girls and you have friends who did the exact same thing, stories go mixed. You go hear stuff. I don't think you can do four five years in the university where you had an okay social life, average social life, where you're not going to... Like, by now you're supposed to don't sabi. That's just how I see it. By now you're supposed to don't sabi something because... You would know. See, girls are not confused people. I, I don't buy into this narrative of convincing, convincing. They know what they... Like, they know the man they want when they see him. Like, it, it's not a, confi- a, a confusing something. So when you have to pressure, 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 she doesn't give you any... A girl that cannot make any form of advance advancement towards you. I don't care if she's shy. Any form 
just doesn't like you and it is not her fault she can't like every guy is your like it is in it is your job to deduce this but there are so many other receipts i can break down up to like 50 like if i decide to keep on reacting to, to this stuff it will have to be like a, a one hour video so i'm just going to stop here but if you guys want me to make it part two i, I definitely can you know it, it depends on the reception of this video if you guys really like the video then i might make it part two but in summary if babe they engage to marry or she she don't marry wanna leave them like as guys wanna leave them at least make we get more integrity i understand how i understand how as guys like you know we are generally horny every single time but try control lamps more why did not person wife why like why why did not person wife i think the next video you guys should watch is my previous video called why girlfriends never apologize when they are at fault definitely click the box on the screen or the second link in the description watch that video and i'll see you guys in the next one you go be